I got to say it, respect the Chicago Bears. This Bears team is good, and I'm going to talk about the Bears defense and why the Bears defense is so good. Uh, this is a team that people are really need, going to need to work, wake up on, in my opinion. This is a good football team. One of the things they do so well is they're a base zone coverage team, but they do a great job of still being able to beat plays that are designed to beat zone coverage, and this first one will be a great example of that. It's actually going to be cover four zone, but with an extra player in coverage, so you have eight guys in coverage, so already the gaps are a little small, but for Bridgewater and the Panthers, it's not a disaster by any means. They have a tight end who's going to run just a quick route. It's going to get into a zone and then sort of cut a little bit to the side, and these kind of routes work well against man, uh, and this is basically turning the zone coverage into man for one small section of it, uh, and so that's kind of how this play works. You kind of cut right towards the player who's there and then get to the outside and try and get open. That's how this play is designed to work for Carolina. But what I love about this is going to be the quick reaction time. Watch how right when this ball is snapped, look, he's already breaking in, ready to knock away this pass. And literally all the all the Chicago Bears players in coverage will do this. Watch how he then is able to run over. He's able to knock this ball away. And I swear, anywhere on the field, this can happen. That was Roquan Smith, who's, you know, obviously really good. He's one of their better players, but, uh, you know, they can do that. It's not just Roquan Smith who can make those plays. While he is a star, they have stars all over the field who can make those plays. This one's going to be another play. Uh, it's another Roquan Smith play. I love Roquan Smith. He's so good. Uh, but what's going to happen on this play is that it's going to be cover three zone, and what's going to, what Carolina wants to do is they want to hit their halfback who's running towards the sideline. And this mainly works because Smith, who is actually in charge of covering uh, the bottom of the screen right here, uh, he, if you notice, he is a lot closer to the middle of the field. I mean, he's at the hash marks on the bottom of the screen, uh, and he's basically lined up, you know, in front of the center. So, uh, you know, the halfback has a couple of steps on him. And so Carolina's kind of thinking, hey, we can sort of try to win this foot race. We have a halfback against a linebacker, and he already has a couple of steps. But that's not going to work against Smith. Watch how, you know, they throw it out to the flat, but Smith is able to just run right there, and he makes the immediate tackle. Actually doesn't quite finish off the tackle. It ends up just being knocked out of bounds, but an incredible play. And, and that's just kind of what this Chicago Bears team can do, is you run plays like on paper, that play should have worked, and on paper, the first play should have worked, but they don't work because this Bears defense is just better. It's especially the case in the red zone. You can't score off these guys in the red zone. I mean, they if they, they turn what you think is going to be seven points into three points so consistently. This is a great example where it's going to Carolina, they have the ball inside the 10-yard line, it's zone coverage, and they have a way to beat zone coverage. They're going to have a tight end run deep and then cut over the middle, then they have a receiver who runs shallower in that area. So if it is zone, you push one Chicago player further deep, the other player runs underneath, gets open, you can hit him, hopefully he falls into the end zone for a touchdown. This is a third down and goal, so you need a touchdown here, but it's not a terrible play to make right here. But once this ball is snapped, you notice that, again, Chicago does a very good job of, they know whose assignment it is to make each of these plays. They know exactly whose assignment it is. So one Chicago player is covering the, the player's shallow and others covering him deep. They just know these things. They played together for a while. They're well coached and they just sort of know what their assignment is. They don't make mistakes. I mean, you look at a team like Dallas, for example, who will run a lot of the same plays, but A, their players aren't as good, but also they're just not as prepared. They will often have plays where two guys are covering someone and no one's covering someone else because of these uh, you know, good designs. Uh, this time for the Bears, they don't do that. They really don't. Uh, worth mentioning, this play is not over yet, right? Bridgewater says, hey, the pressure isn't getting to me right now, uh, you know, which is unusual against Chicago, but it's happening here. So why not just uh, roll around, try to find a way to run into the end zone potentially, or just get more time? That is what he's going to do. Uh, but again, you notice how the two uh, Carolina players at this point are blocking. They're just saying, okay, try to run for a touchdown. Uh, they kind of have to. I mean, both both Bears players notice this as well. And again, you can create contact once the quarterback is out of the pocket. So they're kind of saying, hey, we're fine with this. We'll go. We'll attack you as well. So this way, basically, the only way it can be a, a touchdown is if Bridgewater runs for it. But there are multiple Chicago players, again, who know their assignment. They know 
that the other receivers are getting taken care of. So they're going to crash in and try to make sure they don't allow Bridgewater to gain any yards. Uh, they run in and Bridgewater only gains two yards on that play. And obviously they needed six. So just an incredible play. And it's so hard to score a touchdown in the red zone off of these guys. Like, this is another great example of just when you can do everything right and still lose. That's the play, like that's what playing the Bears defense is. Uh, it's going to be a running play to the bottom of the screen. And this is the blocking concept that you really want to notice. So, you know, basically everyone is getting taken care of. The closest player who is unblocked is going to be the safety. And spoiler alert, everyone's going to make their blocks here. So he is going to be the first player to run in and make the play. So you might be thinking, okay, what is this going to be? Seven yards, 10 yards. Uh, how is this going to work? Uh, well, watch. Watch how he is able to. The second he reads the play, he crashes in quickly and not only makes an immediate tackle, knocks the ball out and gets the fumble. Uh, again, the fumbles aren't going to happen every time. But again, I just like that awareness and that's what's crazy about this Bears team they are so aware they know what's happening at all times and oh yeah by the way I'm making a video about this great Bears defense should probably break down a play about Khalil Mack you know one of the best edge rushers in the league right now one of the best players in football right now quite frankly uh he's really good uh this is one of my favorite plays I've seen from him maybe ever. I mean, this is a great one where it's going to kind of show the respect that you have to give him and how he can beat you because of that respect. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So that's not a good idea. You got to get him, get, get yourself some help against him. Uh, but what's going to happen is that once this play starts, notice how Donovan Smith, he takes a few steps to the outside already because he knows Matt can beat him to the outside. Mac has such speed and such explosiveness. I mean, it's crazy how he's so explosive for someone who is as strong as he is. Uh, but, you know, he gets to the outside a little bit. And because of this, he now knows that he's explosive enough he can get to the inside. Smith sort of had to do that. But now because of this, watch how Mac is just going to be able to swipe to the inside and he's able to make an immediate tackle on Brady and then little extra stuff. I don't know if this is a weird, sort of a weird celebration. Not really sure what's going on there, but an incredible play nonetheless by Mac. He's uh, he's a monster. And, you know, I also think that, you know, getting Hicks back, it really has done wonders for this Bears defense. Everyone likes to blame Matt Nagy, but you know what? His career record right now, if you don't count the playoffs, is 25 and 13. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Uh, you know, he he's... I think people forget the Bears still went eight and eight last year and they have better quarterback play now, which matters. And their defense is really good. Uh, people might say uh, it's less about Matt Nagy. He's just gotten good defensive coordinators. But to me, that's what a head coach's job is to do is, you know, you do your side of the ball. If you're an offensive minded coach and get someone who can do the defense well, uh, Vic Fangio really helped build this foundation and Pagano is doing a great job as well. You know, he's doing a really good job as a coordinator. Don't let his time with Indianapolis as a head coach uh, detract you from what he's doing with Chicago. Uh, I just think they're a really fun team to watch. Uh, I think they're really good, and I think they're going to continue to surprise people. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>